Hi everyone, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Here we are, back in the garage, and fingers crossed this is recording okay. Just to let you know, I've just done a recorded a video, and I didn't have the audio recording, so I had to scrap that, and we're going to go again. So I've got a few things to tell you about. First of all, we obviously have done a little bit of skilling up. You can see we are level 4 now, um, and we've purchased these skill so we purchased 50% faster screwing and unscrewing 50% uh, faster part installation and removal and expand your garage which adds a path test and a repair table to our garage wow I hear you say so this is it this is the repair table uh, we don't have level 1 repair yet so there's not much we can do but through here we have our path tester which will allow us to test um, brakes and uh, suspension and that kind of thing. So that's quite kind of kind of grand. Now we can go into our pit. No, we can't. We can hover above our pit with some sort of magical walking there. And we got a number of spare keys there. Maybe we, we're selling stolen cars and we've got some sort of key codes going on there. Right. So that's pretty much everything I need to tell you about. Other than why is this video out? I hear you ask. Well, it's a bonus video. Yep. I've been enjoying Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 so much, I thought I'd get a couple of bonus videos out, which are not the usual scheduled video times, but, um, you know, for those of you who are enjoying it, then you get some extra content. For those of you who don't enjoy it, well, it's a bonus, so you can't really complain. Good. Let's have a look at the phone. Uh, it's got a number of jobs here. We've got, uh, what's this one? Repair with minimum parts condition. When driving through another city, I did notice a speed bump. Please check out the suspension. Okay, we'll do that. Let's do that one. Uh, we haven't done a suspension one yet, so um, and it gives us a perfect ta chance to test our path debris. So let's move this into the path um, test path, and we'll get this one sorted out as well. Do do do. So we'll uh, hop onto the computer in here and just set this going. Hop into the car, right. Wow, I think they might need a new starter motor. That doesn't sound particularly good. All right, we'll bring forward. Press and hold the brake on the front brakes and we'll get the, the brake pressure tested. Um, wow, the brakes are pretty poor on the front, 44%. Let's get the rear ones done. Hold the brake. Wow, okay, this, this is a rear wheel braking car, basically. And uh, there's far more, that's gonna be a bit dangerous. Right, let's get the old suspension tested out then. Jiggity jiggity. Front suspension again is pretty knacked. I think that's where the probably the damage is. Let's get the rear tested as well. Hold on to all your loose change, your car keys and everything else. We've been jittered around, yeah. It's the front. So here we go. We can see the shocks are knackered, the front shock absorber caps are knackered, the um, front or the lower suspension arms are also knackered. Grand! What a perfect demonstration on how good that upgrade was. Good! So, oh hang on, we <laughs> we'll just leave the car there. We better bring that with us actually. Let's get it on the ramp and uh, have a look. So if we have a look here, hopefully that's ident oh, it's identified some of the parts that need to be replaced. Um, but there's still some that need to be uh, also checked. Um, minimum repair parts condition is 100%, so that's fine. Let's get this up then. And we'll get under and have a look at the suspension. So uh, let's go into. Right, let's. Um, no, come out of that. There we go. Let's. Can we, can we, can we not? Normal mode, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. You can see the shocks are gone, The those are gone. Let's have a look at the bushes. That bush looks okay. Uh, those suspension bits are... Are not looking particularly good. 
Uh, can we move it from here, or do we need to... Yeah, we can. Good. So that can come out. Um, we'll have to do that from the top, actually, won't we? You've got the sway bar here, which looks potentially... Um, well, that could be just red because we can't actually move it. Let's come over here and get this one off. We'll get these bits replaced straight away. Okay. Um, so let's have a look in our inventory. So we've got these lower suspension arms from Trando. Trando? Trando. Uh, and we need two of those. Let's get those uh, ordered straight away. No messing here. Uh, suspension. And we need a Trando lower arm. Lower suspension arm. Yeah, we need two of those. 300 bucks. Wow, up. Okay, we'll get these back on the car. Lickety split. Um, so we want to add this in there. Let's get the new one in there. That looks good. Do these need to be 100%, I wonder? Yeah. We'll check on the um, the info board in a second, see if we need to get those to 100%. Because um, that should have highlighted them as needing replacement. No, that seems to be okay. Good. Grand. Right, let's get this added. Um, yep, that one, that, uh, that, that, and that. Yep. Get that all installed in there, in there. I wish doing the uh, the old uh, nuts and bolts was that it's simple. You know, it really isn't. It always, you always end up scuffing your fingers. You lose all the skin from your knuckles. They never come away straight away. Half the time, oh, this looks pretty, the cooling looks bad on this. Um, sorry, let's just, why did that radiator look absolutely crap? Um, that's not exactly anything to do with the job we're doing, but, wow. Anyway, uh, suspension arm, suspension arm. Can we move over to the suspension arm, please? Here we go, this is what we want to do. Uh, Right, we need to get rid of the uh, tie rod this off first. Oh, we've got to do that from the lifter. Oh, really? I was just there. Oh, went straight up there. That's not bad. Right, okay. Should have done that when we had the chance. What, aren't, what, what am I not seeing? Oh, we've got the sway bar. Have you got to move the sway bar? No? Why, why, oh, why? Well, I can I should be able to remove those. Maybe I need to take the tire off. I shouldn't need to take the tire off. But we will anyway. Now that we got fast unscrewing and screwing, it's, um, it's super quick. Oh, yeah, there we go. The tire needs to come off. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, maybe it didn't. Maybe it's just we need to get that camera angle to be able to get it off. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused at this stage. But uh, let's inspect that. Oh, that looks front axle looks a bit knacked. Where's that sway bar gone? Oh, if only I could. There we go. A sway bar's okay, funnily enough, which is uh, which is good news. So I'm guessing this this front axle needs to come off as well now, does it? Yeah, the axle needs to come off. Okay. Um, let's get that out. Uh, this looks pretty knack. This tie-in bar looks... Outer tie rod looks knacked. The inner tie rod looks knacked. How's the steering rack looking? Oh, if the steering rack's gone, that's going to be very expensive. Uh, you can only examine it by taking it off the car. Oh, my goodness me. You better hope and pray it's not that. Look how rusted that the thread was on that. That would never come off that easy. Um, okay. That's looking okay that side. Let's go over to this side and do the same. So, can we get this off? No, we can't. The, the wheel's got to come off. I don't know why. Uh, 
Oh, hang on. We may have been in the wrong um, thing. That's maybe why I can do it. No. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's the thing when you've got all these pie charts and the different options. You always um, think, oh, maybe I was just in the wrong options menu. Was that it? Was that it? Was that it? No. There we go. I guess you need the weight of the tire off to loosen it up, I guess. Although I've replaced those tie bars with the wheel. Well, no, the wheel has been off, but then I've only had it on. Um, I haven't had a lift like this. Um, let's check the uh, axle. Yeah, as we suspected, that's also knacked. Um, coming over here. So let's get that off. And again, this looks pretty much knackered, doesn't it? Tie rods. Yep. Yeah. And the inner tie rod. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you. And now, is that all the parts? Let's have a look. No, we've still got one, two parts to discover. So I would ha has Oh, what do we have here? Rubber bushing. Can we inspect that? Oh, it's 80%. That's okay. The um, sus suspension cross member is all okay. The steering rack can only be examined coming out of the car. So can we take that out? Is that easy? The steering rack was 80%, so that's okay. We, that can go back in then. They're lucky, because that would be expensive if that was the case. Right, um, so a quick look at the inspection. Everything looks green. Maybe there's something on the back of the car. But it looks relatively good, but we'll check the uh, tie rods on the, the back of the car as well. Uh, make sure everything's okay. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. Can we install that in spring? Oh, we need to take out for a test drive. Okay, Ch chest sway bar, sway bar end links. It's all looking green. Um, looks like the rear got away lightly. Yeah, the rear is looking good. There's nothing really I'm concerned about. Okay. We'll check this side. Um, no. Wrong option. Why do we come out of that? I don't know. Um, that again is looking all good. Yeah, it's looking all good. Yep, the rear looks fine. Um... Uh, so let's have a look. What, 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 what? Driving another say I didn't notice the speed bump. Check the suspension. Because I have impression that something's not right. So what are we missing? What are those two parts we're missing? Everything looks... I don't know. Let's keep the inspection going then. Um, what haven't we done? I'll check the knuckle. That looks fine. We'll check the... Uh, that's fine. Bushes look okay, they're all green. It's looking okay. Now, let's have a look at the, the radiator does look knackered. Now I'm not I don't know how or why the radiator would have any bearing on this, but it is incredibly, look at the state of it. So we're gonna take this out just as a matter of, um, a matter of course. Let's just remove this just to see if uh, this is indeed uh, part of the problem. Radiator housing fan was only 9% and the radiator is only 7%. Now, is that what it was called? They were the two other issues. Okay, um, fine, I'm not kinda, Sure, how hitting a speed bump caused it to go rusty, but uh, <laughs> maybe it cracked and it leaked. That that's 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 a thing. Right, we've got a lot of ordering to do on the old shopperoo, so let's have a look. We need we've got those um, shock absorber, front shock absorber. So they're just basic shock absorbers, aren't they? Um, Let's get a bit at a time because otherwise I will never remember the entire order. So suspension, let's go for some shocks. No oh, bugger. Um, do we need to disassemble that what we've got here? 
No, 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 no. Um, the fans look. That's from a previous job. Don't worry. Oh, is it? I've got two fans. Not sure now. Uh, the housing, radio housing fan B. Oh, God, I got that wrong. Housing B. Housing B. That's what. Oh, it's got two fans in it. Okay, 110 bucks. Wow. Okay. The fans were okay, so we don't have to worry about that. What else did we need? We needed a uh, 30 mechanic uh, radiator A. We'll get that ordered. Let's go to RADS. A radiator A, 200 bucks. Wow, hope we're getting a lot of money for this one. Uh, so that should be the radiator sorted with those fans look good. Uh, tie, inner tie rods, we need two of. They are the Trando ones, and we need the um, Trando outer tie rods, the basic ones. That looks absolutely fine. Okay. We'll do the rods now. We did rads. Now we got to do rods. Let's do two of those. And we'll do two of these. Okay. And so that's that done. Then we needed um, front drive axle type C from voice price times two. From voice price. Okay. Get two of those, and we'll start fitting some of this on, and we'll figure out the shock absorber in a second. All right, let's um, come out of there. Let's come here and start fitting our new radiator. Put the new one in, lovely. Now we'll put the housing on. That one, yeah. We'll mount the fans in there. Yes, that's all. That's done. Dusted, grand. Right, um, front springs. We really need. Uh, so, now, do we need to build this ourselves? So, um, this is quite interesting. Let's go back to shocks. I think it was one of these. I'm going to risk that, risk it for a biscuit and buy 120 bucks on there. And I want to see the condition of the spring and the, uh, the other bit which we have to put in. Right. Air intake uh, suspension. There we go. So if we go to assemble and we'll put that in like that, the front spring is okay. The shock absorber and the cap is knackered. Okay, so let's um, come out with that. Uh, so it looks like we got the right. We need it. We need the shock cap. How do we split these down? No, there must be a way of breaking them down into different components. You'd have thought so. Uh, we'll get another cap anyway. We need two of those. We need two of those. We've already got one, so that's okay. Um, now let's see if we can just use the spring from the other one. Okay, spring puller. Uh, separate parts. We need to separate this. Okay. So that's now separating the uh, the spring from the rest of the uh, the Beijing. Um We're going to split this one as well. I did actually buy two new springs because I thought that probably the best way forward. Uh, wait for it to finish. Hang on. There we go. Uh, now we can pick that up and we need to put together a new one. Um, so we've got some new springs. We might as well use the new springs. And I bought the new caps as well. So we'll get those created. There we go. Lovely. Pick that one up. And I'll create another one with that and that. Yes. And there we have two new shock absorbers. Nice. And we've got two um, springs, which are 80%, which we can use again. So don't worry about that. Yeah, we'll definitely use them again. Right. Um, suspension. That's the kitty. Right, let's get the camera right. Let's get this right. And we'll get this one installed with a new shock absorber. Nice. Nice. Uh, we'll get the new axle in. Nice. Um, we'll get the inner tie rod. We'll get the outer. That's looking pretty grand. Uh, now we get the sway bar in. Oh, whoa, 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 hang on. We need sway bar. I forgot to buy sway bars. 
Um, what sway bars are they? They are sway bar front end A's from Trandu. Okay. Sway Trandos. We need two of those. There we go. Lovely job. It's a good job, you know. <laughs> it's just not one day daily delivery like most places have, you know. Uh, it's instant delivery. It must be Amazon um, Super Prime membership or something. Um, so we need to get this. Where's the sway bar? Where's the sway bar? I, I've lost it. There it is. Good and good. That's that side done. We'll shove the wheel on. Because I'm quite happy with that now. Yep. Nice, good. That's that side done. Let's get this side done. Um, so first of all, we'll need to get the uh, shock absorber in. Get the axle in as well. Lovely. We'll get the inner tie rod, outer tie rod. Gosh, look, lovely shiny gun metal looking at us, isn't it? It's lovely. Right, let's get that sorted. Screw that on, screw that on. That's looking pretty grand. Get the wheel on. Grand. Um, is that it all? We've done it all. Finish order. Incomplete. There is a rim classic. Oh, have I not put a wheel on? Hang on. Yep. You're quite right. <laughs> you can't send the vehicle out like that. Good job we've got these spot checks there. There we go. Now, are you happy? Nice! Nice bit of cash, and we've just leveled up and got ourselves another skill point. So, I think we're gonna go, we can go for repair, 55% chance. Unlocks a tire tread tester, which is okay, but um, you can pretty much visually guess that I get, you know, or you can get an old 10 pence piece and use the, uh, the measurements that it was. Instant examine three parts, mm, it's okay, and unlocks a tablet. I think the repair option will be the best one for us. Nice, right, let's get, what's the time? Yeah, let's get another job in and see what we've got. Um, uh, oh. Where's that one gone? Uh, replace timing parts. Yeah, let's take the timing parts one. That's something different. We don't want to be continually doing brakes and um, and tyres, that kind of thing. Right, let's have a look. So, uh, replace timing parts and change engine oil and the filter. Okay, that's fine. So, the cam gear, water pump pulley, water pump and the timing chain. Okay, let's get this onto the lift. Pop her open. I got another call in from the. Uh, oh wow! Look at this engine. This is interesting. Um, it's going to take me a little bit of time to figure out exactly where I am. So what's that? That's the air filter. So here's your um, your HT leads on the distributor cap. How do we? Do we need to remove the leads first then? Yep. And then that. No. How does? Ah, it's got a clip on it. No. Okay, you got to you got to actually focus on it to allow you to take the disc cap off. Uh, what do we have there? The ignition distribution. Ooh, let's have a look. What's the status of that. That looks okay. Well, that's okay. What we really want to do? Let's exit out of this. Um, we want to take the plugs out. Take manifold, okay. Um, can we take the uh, top off? Oh, it's nice and testing this one. I don't know these engines at all. Here we go. Now, um, 
Okay. It's not like the modern engine at all, is it? <laughs> Here's the oil filter. We'll take the oil filter off while it's right there. Only accessible from a lift. Okay, fine. Right, there is the oil filter. Let's get that off. Um, the arm. Here we go. Ah, this is the power steering pump. This is the serpentine B bell. Okay, so with the cam sharpie in there. Okay, so we're going to put this back together. That is not what we were after. Um, so that's fine. Let's get this added on as well. Oh, so many bolts. But this upgraded screwing is... <laughs> upgraded screwing. Uh, you know what I mean. It's uh, it's pretty good. Right, let's get all this peripheral stuff on, which we had to take off to uh, get to what the bit we thought we needed. And let's get the air filter on. Get the cover on. Good, right. Okay, so... Uh, let's have another look. What do we need it to do? Um, cam gear, which is kind of under that housing on the modern engines. Engine, sorry. Uh, water pump pulley timing ch timing chain. Okay, so it's probably going to be crankshaft pulley. Okay, okay. So uh, what do we need to get these belts off? Uh, probably, do we need to remove the radiator fan? Uh, then can we remove the pulleys? Now what's holding that on? Maybe the tensioner? Alternator, can that come out? No. What's the first bit we need to do? Ah, get that belt. Nice. Oh, I don't need to do that one. Sorry, don't need to do that. Let's get this belt off as well. Uh, let's have a look at the crankshaft pulley. There's the crankshaft. Oh, we can just get this bit off. We didn't need to dismount. Ah, I see. So we probably will have to get this off. Uh, maybe not, but it gives us a bit more access to this cover to get. Right. And here we have. Let's have a look at this then. Yeah, that's pretty nice. How's the crankshaft itself? we can't see so let's get the the chain off let's get the crank gear off and the camshaft is 71 percent now what's the 62 so that's okay so water pump pulley so we've got the cam gear we've got the cha timing chain we need the water pump and we need the water pump pulley so there's the water pump. Let's get that off. Oh, we did. This job is so more, so quick and simple from what we were doing originally. Right. Okay. Um. So. We need a water pump pulley. A water pump 16B. Cam gear 16B and a timing chain 16B. 16B is what it's all about. Right, so if we go to engine, um, so we've got 16Bs here. I can't remember what was the water pump. Let's have another quick look before we order something incorrect. Uh, water pulley we need, and we need the 30 16B. 30 16B. That one. That's the one we need, and we need the um, water pump pulley. 
Okay, let's get a timing chain. Ah. Uh. Give me a 16B like that. And of course, the last thing was completely gone out of my mind. Um, cam gear, 16B from 30 as well. Okay. Cam. 16B. Nice. Right. Let's see if we can't um, shove this on. Let's get down here into the rebuilding. Let's get the water pump on first. Nice shiny new water pump. Pulley on. Okay, no, no, um, no bolts required, it would seem. Um, we'll get the cam gear back on, or the new one on. And we'll get the new timing belt on as well. Nice. Get the cover on. Nice. Uh, crankshift pulley. Nice. Um, get the old belt on. Good stuff. We'll get that belt on. Good stuff. Um, we can put the thermo stat back on which we took it off because we thought we needed to get some room but that's okay now we can put the disc cap on and we put the leads oh we need to put the spark plugs in of course quick absolute um waste of time we did that but don't haven't worked on these old engines before so it's um it's a little bit of a learning curve but you know we know now and uh, some precious information that we won't mis make a mistake on next time. Unless I forget, of course, which is... There's every chance of that. Good. Right, so we've done that. Let's have a quick look. That's all looking groovy. We need an oil filter. And we, then we need to do an oil change. That's fine. Good. Let's just get the oil filter on then. 16B. Um... An oil filter 16. It's got to be that one, I hope. Yep. Good, good stuff. Let's get this in. The oil filter was down here somewhere, wasn't it? It was right there. Uh, have to be. Okay, we can't do it there apparently. Why we can't, I don't know. If we can get in there, we should be able to do it, but that's fine. Let's get, as we're here, let's get that into position as well. Let's get rid of the oil. And we'll get that moved out of the way. And in the meantime, we can uh, hopefully get in here, put the oil filter on. Nice. Get a drop down, load it up with oil. Jobs a good one. I thought I told this to get out of the way. Oh no, I didn't. I told it to uh, go under the uh, the lift. Right. Quick uh, oil. Or oh, what looks like congealing virgin's blood once again. Sup oil. Okay, coming up to the top. Wait for it to bubble. There we go. Lovely. Good stuff. Good stuff. Boom. That should be that one. Good to go. There is a clip missing from the car. Oh, is there? Well, there's, you know, there's always bits and pieces left over. They should know that by now. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's the disc cap. It had um, clips on it, didn't it? Yes, yeah, sorry. That would have come off. If water had got in there, it would stall. It wouldn't be able to start for a while. Oh, dear. Not a great advert for the job, but there we go. Boom. So we've completed another job. We've got another six waiting up. We've got 11 grand. 11 grand. Let's um, sell the junk. And it's kept these because these apparently aren't junk. Okay, but we'll sell them because they're in bad condition. 
Yes! <laughs> As he hits manically, trying to hit the same thing. Right, we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. There may be a couple more coming your way. As I said, these are bonuses, so don't expect them to be, you know, a weekly running thing. But, you know, for the next couple of weeks, I may pump out two or three extra videos in the week, just because um, I'm doing a lot of recording at the moment, trying to get ahead, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. And when I'm enjoying it, you might as well record it while you're enjoying it. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe and hit that notification to be kept up to date with the latest videos. And hit like if you want to see more. And I will see you next time.